the incoherent babble. Hi, I'm Game Guy. Time for Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Um, I said it before the title popped up. Wow, it's like a first or something. Actually, I don't know if it is, but that's beside the point. Cranky's got a phonograph, which has been replaced with a far superior boombox in the middle of a jungle that used to be a construction site. Usually it works backwards. Man, I, I, I guess uh, all them uh, anti-jungle-destroying activists finally got it right. They're taking out all the factories and replacing them with jungles, and then this part just repeats. So, you know, hey, cool. Apparently I erased all my game data. <laughs> or this cartridge is being weird. Well, you know, now that I think about it, I think I erased it for some reason, and I don't remember what it was. I think I was going to do... I, I don't know. Point is... Um, this is a game on the Super Nintendo involving monkeys doing cartwheels and throwing barrels and doing all sorts of other crazy shenanigans. Like walking into this cave over here to notice that, oh no, DK is depressed that his banana horde is filled with invisible bananas, which are not nutritious in the slightest. Uh, we should probably get a whole bunch of visible bananas. Oh no, beavers! So this game is kind of just one of those, oh man, let's just run and jump and destroy a whole bunch of guys and ignore the balloon in the sky kind of games. And, um, they're, they're a very technical type of game. So, you know, I just figured it seems like something I could play, you know. Just go ahead and run around, throw barrels, collect ostriches, and get on rhinos. Because rhinos make everything better, you know. Whenever you're on a rhino, you can pretty much destroy the world. Almost. I mean, rhinos, as we well know, are capable of mass destruction. So, yes, that's a reference. Um, hey, I spelled Kong. In case you didn't know, spelling Kong allows you to live longer. And this is a bonus game. I haven't quite decided yet if I'm going to win this bonus game or not, but um, if I'm going to get 100%. Because I'm not super familiar with all the bonuses in this here game. And furthermore, like, I don't, I'm bad <laughs> at most of them sometimes. It, it really depends. But um, as far as I remember... Um, you don't even need to actually beat the bonus for it to count? Question mark? I guess not. Because uh, when you beat a level, there's an exclamation point after the name to indicate that you have gotten all of the bonus stages. See that exclamation point? I have won the video game. So now we go to Ropey Rampage, and um, <laughs> this is a rainy level. It's a level dedicated to the rain spirit named Rain. It's a very unoriginal name, I realize, but uh, I wasn't the one that named that, baby. No siree. Uh, so this level has ropes hanging from nowhere. It's pretty great. If you've ever been to a jungle, there's ropes hanging from nowhere all over the place, and rhinoceroses in the trees, just as nature intended. Um, so this is a level involving swinging and jumping on crocodiles. Never had one of those before. Is there anything down there? I see, like... There's, like, ledges down there, which implies that I shouldn't have died by going down there, but... <laughs> okay, sure, game, whatever you say. Um, so note to self, do not, under any circumstances, go down in that general direction. Hey, did you know that if you press the select button, you, you can switch to Diddy? Diddy's a pretty cool guy. He can jump on armadillos, but not very well. Uh, it's one of his uh, greater-known weaknesses. I missed the K. That's not K. No, seriously, why? Like, li literally, there are ledges here, and then there's bananas down there, implying that something is afoot. There's a checkpoint here. <laughs> Checkpoints allow you to start from the checkpoint. There's something over there. One of the reasons I've never really 100%ed this game too much... I don't know if I can get back now. Um at all, really, is just because I can jump in holes a lot. This is obviously going super well. I'm just going to have to come back. <laughs> but, um, like, some of the bonuses in this game are just like, oh, I have an idea. Let's hide a bonus in a pit for no reason. Oh, man. <laughs> We're such sneaky people. I got a TNT barrel. It's filled with uh, pudding that explodes. You got to watch out for that explosive pudding. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Um... Bees are pretty scary. 
So, um, armadillos take two hits when you are a chimpanzee, but not when you're the mighty gorilla. Um, can I not do, like, the ground pound thingy and actually accomplish something with this thing, or is that only some of them? I don't... I, don't, I, I know that these, like, patches on the ground contain hidden items if you land on them from a big enough jump, but, uh, some of them I'm not quite sure how you're really supposed to get. Why do I remember there being something here? Because there is! Hi, Secret Barrel, I found you. I found you using basic logic. Oh man, it's like a shell game, but with barrels. And a balloon inside of them. Which one is it? I don't know. I think it's this one. Hooray! I got a balloon. Balloons are extra lives in this game, which, to be perfectly honest, I've always found kind of weird. Because, <laughs> like, uh, how do balloons protect you from the Reaper's grasp? I do not understand. I guess maybe uh, when you collect all the Kong letters, you don't spell Kong, but instead spell Ong. I don't know what Ong means. There's nothing up there. Or if there is, I no longer care. <laughs> yeah, I missed a bonus type stage thing. So I'm gonna go back and get it, because I don't know. I feel like crazy faced. I don't know, man. The trick with a lot of the bonus stages I've noticed is you've got to watch out for visual cues that there's going to be something. And I don't really see anything. Okay, well, there's no bananas down there. But there's obviously bananas somewhere, man. I don't understand. I don't understand. Actually, was this the level that had the thing up here or something stupid? Well, there's something up here. Hi, random hidden bananas. <laughs> This game has lots of random secrets everywhere. It's kind of scary. It's kind of scary. Rhinoceros in the tree, it's kind of scary. I guess I'll explain what those do at some point in the future. Do I jump down, like, between the trees or something silly? Yes, I do! Okay. Yeah, see, stuff like that is just like, okay, I have an idea. Let's make it completely unobvious that that's even there. <laughs> like, really now? Um, so yeah, I don't know if I can actually exit the level and have it count. I'm not really sure. Hey, look, I found the end. Yes. <laughs> and then after that, I pop out over here, fly for no reason, and... Oh, hi. A tire. Tire? What does a tire do for me? Absolutely nothing. That's what it does. I uncovered a golden frog. I regret nothing. Um... There might have been something in that tree up there, but I don't know. You can press Start Select to exit a level that you've already beaten. Hooray! So, obviously that counts, and this is Cranky's Cabin. He lives in the crankiest cabin in the world. It's hard to find peace and quiet anymore in this uh, peace and quiet jungle place, Ville. Uh, I, uh, what about a two-frame walk, man? Talking about sprites for no apparent reason? <laughs> Whoa! Never seen any of this fancy 3D stuff. Oh, we had to survive on what we had. And what little we did have, we were happy with. Yes, keep smacking me with your cane. Give me brain damage. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Well, Cranky, you shouldn't take a look at the 3DS. Enjoy this little demo while you can. It can't last much longer. What do you mean by demo? What do you mean by de This ain't no demo. This is the full game, yo! I bought it with the money that I had in my pocket one day. <laughs> I had something about an ostrich. Ah, oh, I can't say I expect to see you again, but you might get lucky, I guess. Mm. Cranky just kind of rambles a whole lot. It's pretty great. <laughs> yeah, it's a reptile rumble. I will finish this world yet, but only slowly. This game's kind of short, so if it seems like I'm kind of dragging things out, Probably because I am. But <laughs> let's be honest. I mean, this it, is a fun game. It's it's a game that you can throw barrels at walls and find hidden bonuses. I knew that one was there. I didn't guess at all. What are you talking about? So, um, yes. Some of the bonus stages are just kind of like, okay, well, I'm a bonus stage. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> and others are just like, okay, well, I'm a bonus stage. Have fun. Die. Um, but this this is not one of those. Yeah, some of them are just like, oh man, free stuff. Hooray! <laughs> Actually, a lot of them are. Um, in the later games, like, the bonus stages are kind of repurposed for completion's sake. In this case, they're more or less 
I mean, they are there for completion kind of thingies, but, like, they're also, um, I don't know, like, legit bonus-type stages where you get stuff. But, uh, yes, you know, you know, sometimes that happens. There's got to be a bonus here somewhere. I like playing as Diddy a lot when I'm looking for bonuses, because he holds the barrel in front of him, which causes it to automatically explode against the wall and whatnot. Yes. <laughs> so, um, that's just how I do. And, uh, over here is the end of the room that is known as bonus. <laughs> the end of the room that is known as bonus and the mysteriously spawning snake. Whoa, dude. What's that? That guy's just jumping. He's like, wee, I can jump. I'm gonna leave him alive so he can jump forever and ever in the cave of no return. But this guy, he's gonna die. And that guy, he's gonna die too. And, and the other guy who's invisible and doesn't exist, I'll let him live too. But, uh, you know, next level. Next level's a water level. Oh, no. Oh, no! Water levels? No! Those are terrible in all video games ever! Why? No! Why? <laughs> Actually, the water levels in this game are notorious for having secret passages in the walls. Whoa, man. Gotta watch out for those guys. They're crazy. An octopus? Oh, no. Not an octopus. Octopus, man! Why are you here? See, look. I found a secret banana horde. Secret underwater potassium. The greatest kind of potassium you could ever have in your diet ever. What are you talking about? Bar none, it is single-handedly the greatest. I mean, all doctors out there are like, Hey man, if you're gonna eat your bananas and whatnot, you might as well get them underwater bananas. And also a swordfish, because swordfish are awesome. Look, seriously, Naomi. This is on guard. He's a sword fish, and, you know, his name's Unguard. It's, it's funny. Yes. So, um, yes. This is a water level. That's a checkpoint, in case you forgot. I, I don't know if you forgot or not, but, uh, sometimes it's just like, I gotta remind you, cause my fish can go flying away at rocket speed. I got the rocket model of fish. Thankfully, there's another fish right here with which to stab these little mini sharks. Mini sharks and normal sized sharks. Come on, this golden ostrich, it's mine. I will explain those later, cause right now they're kinda silly. And to be honest, they're kinda silly at all times, but that's beside the point. The point is that over here, there's more little piranhas to destroy with my fish. Mr. Watch Guy, you shouldn't really be working very well underwater, because after all, watches are impervious to not water. That made sense. But uh, this is the end of the level, so please shut up. Thank, thank you. I, I said thank you. Um, water levels, I don't believe, have any bonuses ever. So uh, we can go to Funky Flights, which actually does nothing for us right now. Whoa, dudes, I'm Funky Kong. You can tell how funky I am because I have hair. Yep, that's, that's a measurement of how funky he is. Look how funky he is. He's so hairy, just like any normal gorilla would be. Whoa, dudes, I repeat what I say, so I'm leaving. <laughs> you can use that guy to go places, but right now there's no places to go. So, <laughs> Barrel Cannon Canyon. There's a secret barrel up here. Shooting in this barrel allows you to completely skip basically the first half of the level, which is probably a dumb idea, because I think it means you miss a bonus or whatever. But, um, you know, con inconsequential stuff. I found a rhinoceros. It's pretty great. Yep, first half of the level. <laughs> so, that was pretty fun. Is there, like, a hidden bonus type bonus bonus everywhere somewhere, maybe? I feel like there should be... Oh, why, well, yes, there is. I knew there was. Oh, this is one of those bonuses where you have to pick a side and hope that you live, which you don't. But, uh, oh, well. Um, so let me see. Yeah, I probably missed something at the first half, but I can always come back. Whoa, guys, you bounce, like, really high. Why do you do that? What makes you do the things that you do? I do not agree with such actions. I don't know what I bounced on there, but I bounced on something. Something has been bounced on. There was a distinct you bounced on something sound effect. So hey, barrel cannons in this game, oh my. <laughs> uh, 
You know, it's kind of like a staple of the series, them barrel cannons, and that running into bees kind of thing. I love running into bees, especially when, you know, you're being shot out of a cannon, because being shot out of a cannon into the bee is the most exhilarating feeling you will ever feel in your lifetime of lifetimes. Because that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> so, um, yeah... There's bananas in the trees. What's up with that? Bananas don't grow on trees. Money does. That's what my mommy told me. My mommy's a chronic liar. Yeah, I missed a bunch of stuff, so hey, let's go to Candy Save Point. Candy Save Point is a place where you can save your point by jumping in a barrel and dodging a kiss that exploded in front of nothing. I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's how you save your game, man. You want to save your game? I bet you do. I bet you do want to save your game. I'm going to go ahead and just run around and look for stuff all day. Are you a DK barrel? That allows me to have my Diddy back. Diddy, we can be best pals. Yay. Um, well, there's, a, there's a winky under there. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, over here is a bunch of crocodiles walking around, being all like... I just imagine them going all like that, because that just sounds like exactly the noise they're making. Yeah, clearly. That, that's exactly what they're doing. Why would they be doing anything else? There's another rhino up there. Rhino guy, what are you doing? Did he stop floating? It's, it's physically impossible to do such things. Please stop, okay? Come on now. Oh, yes, this is a sneaky thing. You shoot into the wall. <laughs> ah, yes. And then this is the part where you blast out of barrels that get progressively faster and faster and faster, but it's really not that hard. So, yeah, no. Um, yeah, and I think that just leads us back to this here checkpoint type place, and then I'm done. Yay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and save really quick all like. No, oh, it must have been hard to come all this way. Yes, it was. It was very, very difficult. And now, very naughty slayer. Oh no, it's very naughty. He's very naughty. Look how naughty he is. Oh, he's, he's so naughty. He's gonna. He's a bad beaver. He's a bad beaver. Look how bad he is. He's so bad. He's bad. Now he's hyperventilating and choking, and I refuse to give him CPR, or the Heimlich Maneuver, or a bunch of bagels for some reason, but that's beside the point. I've already been playing for like almost 20 minutes, so I think it's a good time to stop. I'm gonna go to Monkey Mines next time. I'm gonna find all the mines. It's probably gonna go super well. I, I can just guess that right about now, but you never know. Never know. You never know. I, I think what I'm trying to say is you never know. You just don't. Bye.